Hello, 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 and welcome to the seventh video in the six skills of the selling system training. Um, this will be our last topic in the six skills. I'll have one more video um, that I'm actually going to record right after this one. That is a uh, kind of wrap up of everything we've learned throughout this training session. Uh, before we get to the wrap up, let's talk about the last section. Oh, I'm Heather Pratt, in case you've forgotten since the last time you watched one of these videos. Um, as always, I'm super excited that you were here, whether you are here to complete the entire six skills of the selling system or you're here for a brush up on sponsoring specifically. I'm happy that you're here. Um, let's get started. So the last of the six skills is sponsoring, but it's certainly not the least. Being a sponsor can be one of the most rewarding aspects of your Sensi story. Nothing beats watching other people succeed. Many of you consider sales your bread and butter. We'd love to see the excitement, but we also want to encourage you to step out and start sponsoring new team members if you haven't already. Consider this. Sales provide income for today. But sponsoring provides income for tomorrow. And the earlier you begin sponsoring and the more you sponsor, the more benefits you will experience long term. Um, we want that for each and every one of you. So here's your challenge. Ask every person at every party you hold this year if they are interested in launching their own Spency business. So you remember the 10 7 2 1 formula where we said that at an ideal party, you're going to have 10 guests out. Of those 10 people, you should shoot for seven purchases. You should also try to book two parties and encourage one attendee to join your team. 10 7 2 1. Now, we all know that sometimes the 10 7 2 1 rule is hard to achieve, but it gives you something to shoot for in all of your parties. Uh, it won't happen if you don't ask. Many of your prospects may be open to joining your team, but they're not sure what it involves. Help them understand right at your party. Games last like ask me about my job. Allow your customers to learn more about you and also help identify which guests might want something more. So take a few minutes to think about this. What do you say when someone asks you about Cincy and what you do? All right, I want you to pause the video and take a few minutes, five to 10 minutes, and write down what you talk about when people ask you what you do with your Scentsy business and how what you say attracts them to want to join you on the journey. Okay, did you find that a little bit difficult? Was it a little bit hard to pinpoint? Did you end up saying, writing down a whole bunch of things? This is why fine tuning your drawing message is so important. As you talk to prospective team members, share what Sensi can do for them. Every person you talk to will have their own motivations and reservations when it comes to running a Sensi business. And it's up to you to help them see that Sensi is the best way to reach their goals. Um, I, one of the things I've been trying to stress lately is that your life goals don't have to specifically have anything to do with Sensi. But when you have a life goal, look at how Sensi can help you get there because you would be surprised at how many things you want to accomplish as an individual or as a family can be helped and aided through your Sensi business. Okay, so we're going to do a little sponsoring commercial activity. Are you ready? All right, so this is speaking of your join message. When is the last time you looked at it to make sure it was still relevant and effective? When's the last time you used your join message? Do you even have a join message? Do you have more than one? Have you thought about different messages for different situations? So I want you to take a few minutes again and look at your join message. I want you to create at least one 30 second commercial of sorts that could help you speak to various people. For example, you may write one or you may write one in each of these genres, areas, topics, whatever you want to call it. So one 
can be for someone looking for extra income. What commercial, joint commercial would you say to them? Um, an, another one you could work on is a commercial for someone who needs to get out of the house more or someone who wants to make more adult friends or someone who wants to travel more or someone who hates their job. That's a lot of different topics and you could have a different join message commercial for each one of those. So I want you to take about 15 minutes right down and try to come up with at least one of those. Pause your video and pick a topic. Okay, how did it go? Did you get one done? Later on when you've got a few extra minutes, maybe you set aside 15 minutes today and 15 minutes over the next week, every day for a week to come up with different join commercials. It's awesome work. I'm super proud of you. And I know you came up with some great ideas. When you share your message, you'll be met with both excitement and hesitation. People will wonder if they have what it takes. It's up to you to show them that they do because they do. So be prepared. Overcoming objections is also something that we need to touch on. You'll be talking to a lot of people and some of them simply won't be open to your message. Here are some common objections you may hear, and we'll talk about what you can say in support of yourself. I don't have time. I tell you, that is the number one thing I hear. I mean, I hear that from people who have already joined Cincy. I don't have time. How many of you have heard that when you've talked to somebody about joining? How many times have you said that yourself about the work you need to do with your business to grow to the next level. So here are some things to think about yourself and to have it in your mind as an answer for someone else who says they don't have time. How much time per week do you think it takes to earn a significant income? I can tell you that our superstar director who has an organization of around 8,000 people spends about, I think it's about 20 hours per week working her business. And she has a five figure per month income. All right, here's another question you might think about. Can, can I ask what a week in your life looks like right now? So think about all of the things that you do but you still manage to squeeze in time to work your business. Are you a wife? Are you a mom? Do you go to church? Do you have kids in sports activities? Do you have kids in cheer and dance or music or anything else that takes away? Do you work more than one job? You still manage to find some time in there to work your business, right? So whoever you're talking to, I'm sure, can find this some time as well. And here's the kicker. Here's one of the things that you can ask them. And that's something you can ask. These are questions you can even ask them. Well, how much time do you think it's going to take? What does your week look like right now? What if I can show you how you could earn additional income simply by walking out of your house a couple hours a week? Would you be interested? Because for real, in the beginning, you can probably do this in a couple hours per week. Um, I usually encourage people early on in their business, just 15 minutes a day. Just doing some activity, 15 minutes a day, will pay dividends. Now, over the long term, I'm not gonna lie, as you build your business, it may take more time, but that's okay. If you set up good systems to begin with, you can find the nooks and crannies to fit it in, I promise. And I promise if you are on my team, I will help you find those nooks and crannies and help you build the system. They're called scalable systems. And they're meant to be the thing you do, the thing, that, the system that you use to work your business, whether you've got one person on your team or you've got a thousand. So they're pretty awesome. And most of that work gets done in an hour a day. And I think, and it's not necessarily I'm going to sit down and have a power hour. It might be 15 minutes here. It might be 15 minutes there, 15 minutes there, 15 minutes there. For real. Superstar directors are running their businesses in an hour a day. Okay. 
All right, here's another objection we probably all heard. I don't know anyone or I don't know enough people. So here's one way to help refute that one. One of the greatest things about Sensi is we're experts in helping you expand your network. I could show you how to build a list of 50 people, connect with them and book parties. Would you be interested? And here's another question. Do you know how to do that? I got an awesome video I can share with you if you need it to get the list of 50. If you need a list of 50, I, I, I can tell you. Um, our lead to lead program, I have people that's got lists in the hundreds after walking through that program. Just uh, another common objection is I can't afford the kit. So here's a few things you can tell them. Hosts make the best consultants. The host exclusive Carter starter kit is a tools based kit with everything you need to start your own business for just $59. You could supplement that kit by using your half price items and any remaining host credits earned at your party to purchase additional items to help you build your business. Would you be interested in hosting a party and earning your kit? Another shorter way to say kind of the same thing. Our host exclusive kits, the host exclusive starter kit is just $59. I can show you how to earn that money back fast by having a launch party for your business. Sensi is a great, flexible way to earn extra money. If money's tight, I'd love to show you how easy and fun it is to earn money with Sensi. Um, my advice for someone who is interested and is struggling with the financial end, I love the host exclusive starter kit for $59. That is a brilliant, brilliant option. And to be honest, that kit can actually cost just $39. If they have a minimum $200 party, you can apply all of the $20 credit toward that $59. So it only costs them $39. Um, so that's a pretty, pretty good bargain. The other thing that I recommend is, you know, even if 59 or 39 or, you know, if they want the whole the big kit, um, but they can't float the money, they need a, like an immediate return on their investment. I would suggest, if at all possible, giving them catalogs, maybe even testers, and doing a launch party, have them collect orders all through the month, kind of like a full-on launch party or open house party, uh, as close to the end of the month as you can. Um, join the last day of the month, put in all of those orders they've collected over the month, and then they're going to get paid on it when commissions run on the 10th. Um, so hopefully in a month's time, they have gotten like $500 in orders and it's almost an immediate return on that investment because um, they'd get paid, that, paid 125 You know what I'm saying? So that's an idea as well. Um, another big objection, I can't sell or I'm not a salesperson. Here's your response. I'm not either. Since fragrances are made to be experienced, it's more like sharing the products and how I use them to make my life better. And one of the things I've heard people say, Cincy practically sells itself. Not exactly. Um, it's not one of those things that's just going to spontaneously create sales for you. You have to do a little bit of work in sharing it. But usually once you share the products, either with borrow bags or letting people smell your testers um, or whatever the case may be, People get hooked on it, but you've got to get it in their hands. So there is a little bit of work involved. It's not just the selling itself. Um, I mean, it kind of sort of does because once they experience, most people want it, but you got to do the work to get it in their hands, right? Now, the way to uh, respond to that kind of objection, Sensi parties are so much fun. Just think of it as getting together with some of your friends to try new fragrances and share their experiences with the products. And more often than not, my host really wants to earn products, so she's eager, or he's eager, to share the products with her friends and collect orders too. Um, and that's so true. I mean, parties can be really intimidating when you think about the idea of having to stand in front of people and speak. Well, you don't really have to. We talked about presentations in previous uh, videos and it doesn't have to be anything fancy. There's no script. Um, 
keeping it simple is the best way to do it. And, and it still goes back to that sharing. Share a hand, you know, a couple of your favorite products um, and let them ask questions and let them drive the party. Um, I think the games probably make it more fun. So hopefully you have a group of people who like games. Um, if not, sometimes it's just a way to relax with some girlfriends and, and have a drink and uh, maybe something to eat, do a Taco Tuesday or a sip and sniff or coffee brunch or whatever. But it really is fun to do the parties on all ends once you kind of release the anxiety of it, which you shouldn't have any because we talked about it. And you know that you, we are always here to help you um, with those anxious moments. Um, okay. I want you to pause the video again, and I want you to take a few minutes to come up with other objections that people might raise or that they have already raised with you about joining your team. And in addition, to writing down the objection, I want you to write down right next to it what your answered solution is. Um, keep in mind your solutions don't need to be about being pushy, but they're just about, you know, uh, expressing that you understand their concern, but you're here to help them along the way to get past any roadblocks, any roadblocks that they may encounter. Okay, did you get a few more written down? Great. Remember, objections aren't personal. When you go out to a restaurant and your server asks if you want dessert, do you think they feel bad if you say no? Of course not, and you shouldn't either. And sometimes a no is a not right now. Sometimes a no is I'm definitely not interested. And sometimes they may say no, and over the course of days and weeks and months and years of you being in this business they may continue to watch you and be like you know maybe i should do that thing she's doing um so don't give up it's not the end of the world and it's nothing personal it's just it's not their time remember the benefits you've experienced along your sense of journey your hard work your creativity and your tenacity have helped you grow and achieve your goals or at least some of them Think about the opportunities and the friendships you've made. Think about Heidi and Orville's legacy. And you can find the Cincy story um, if you look up the YouTube video. It's pretty spectacular. You can share that. I cry every time I watch it. If you need the video, let me know. I will find you the link. Um, I, I do. I cry every time. Um, Cincy isn't just about a product. You're living the Cincy life. So how do you effectively turn this into a compelling message to join your team? How do you share your love for Sensi, your passion for your business, and your commitment to support the people who join you on this journey? I know for me, it has been a great blessing, and I have to remember that when I'm talking to other people, that I am offering them an opportunity. I am offering them something that's been a great blessing to me, because it wouldn't be fair for me to keep it just to myself. All right, that was pretty quick and easy, right? So that ends the content for sponsoring. Um, I hope you have enjoyed it. That's basically the end of the six skills of the selling system. And uh, there's one more video I want you to watch. It's going to be pretty short and sweet. Just a little wrap up of what we've covered here on this. Um, if you have any questions about sponsoring, please let me know. Uh, I know some people find it to be very scary because uh, the idea of being a leader or being in a leadership role intimidates them. And I am here to tell you it it's, I mean, there is responsibility involved, but it's so much fun. It's so re rewarding, so enjoyable. Um, some of my best moments have been watching other people get promotions and I really can't wait to see other people uh, in my team earn trips, um, get big promotions. Uh, go on opportunities, achieve even the smallest of goals. Sometimes it's just, you know, getting that first order or putting in their first party order. It just, it warms my heart. That's the part I love. Sponsoring is the best. And I can't wait for you guys to try it too. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.